Hello everyone. It's 4:35 p.m. <coughs> well, I worked my ass off for almost two and a half hours straight. This time, like, I didn't take any breaks until now. <coughs> so, I'm taking a nice, well-deserved break. <coughs> and then, it's like, at the moment, my heart, I'm sitting down after working. And it's like, as I said before, for some reason, I've been feeling like depleted from my physical energy. I've been um feeling depleted and drained. And um <clears throat> more so than the previous job that I worked at over the summer. For some odd reason, ever since working this job, I had like my legs chronically hurt. So my legs have been hurting all the time. <clears throat> and I've been feeling more tired. You know, but I push myself to continue working and working. You know, for two and a half hours. I mean, almost two and a half hours. <clears throat> and now I'm taking a break. And... But for now, at the, I mean, I'm glad I got out of the house. Well, the motel, you know, <clears throat> the motel room. I'm glad I got out and came to work today. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um. I'm glad I, I got out. I mean, I feel better that I was able to do some work today, but <clears throat> today is November 9th, which is reverse of 9-11. So by being reverse of 9-11, I'm guessing that that is the reason why I got perped so heavy today <clears throat> perped I got perped so heavy today and um it's like the same one lady who had a black Lexus SUV she went to try to follow me around as I was walking from my motel room to the job and <clears throat> she tried to follow me around to the um she followed me around like by the gas station and like circled around and then wait went through the back way of the school and I figured she was a perp and she she um <clears throat> what she did was she I don't know why I'm having a, I'm stuttering and having a hard time getting my words out but she made a right turn with no um signals to go right off off onto the gas station and then went through the back way and I walked you know like normal going but I had to you know d deal with a whole bunch of like so many cars gang stalking me <clears throat> and then I finally made it on the entrance of the campus and then there she was again. And then they had like two exits, like one towards going to the left, which was farther in the parking lot. And the other exit was to exit off the school property. <clears throat> so as I was walking, she made a last, forget last minute, last second decision to maneuver into the left lane hoping that she would try to strike and hit me with her vehicle on the campus. <clears throat> and then drove by like nothing happened. 
And so I can't even get out my phone with, without her trying to be like, get defensive and be like, are you try- taking pictures of me? And I'm like, no. You know, so it's like these bastards are getting more aggressive. It's like I'm starting to not even care anymore. You know, you got to keep filming and taking pictures and everything of everything these bastards are doing. And then she, of course, parked, you know, by the, by the visitor section, picked up no kids, dropped off no kids, had no kids. And then they had this other perp who was also sitting in the visitor section. Gave me the hate anger look like as if I'm forbidden to look. And he was just waiting. And I don't remember what nice luxury new car it was. But that lady, that lady, she had a um a beautiful black new Lex, kind of new Lexus SUV. And then he had, a, um I think it was like a tan or gold colored luxury car but I don't remember what it was but he gave me a mean ass dirty look and then they had one of the students that was discreetly filming me you know but most of the time everybody's nice and you know but I'm talking about people who aren't you know employees of the campus or whatever <clears throat> you know come on the campus just to gang stalk me as I, co- as I come or as I leave, and they have nothing to do with the school, and they're there to, you know, try to perk me, <clears throat> and, you know, not allowed to film anything, or not allowed to expose them or make a scene or nothing, you know, um, <clears throat> but... And then you're not allowed to even talk about what they're doing. But, bitch, you tried to, she waited till as I was crossing. And she hurried up and tried to maneuver, like, as I crossed, she deliberately maneuvered into the lane, hoping to strike me with her vehicle, hoping to hit me. And then drove off like nothing and then went and parked by the, by the visitor spot. And then try to oh, are you are you filming me? Oh no, she said, oh, are you taking pictures of me? <clears throat> and I and, and she I knew she looked like a freaking demonic witch. So can't even get your dog on phone out to try to um you know the idea of texting your boss to let them know you're here and. Or, you know, look at the time or whatever. These bastards, they, they got a guilty conscience and they get freaking defensive. You know, so then <clears throat> I go to another building and they have a parent waiting, sitting there all that time waiting in the car. <clears throat> and then the moment I walk a certain distance, you, you know, <clears throat> to walk by then she hurry up like and rush to get out of like she's sitting there waiting for me and then hurry up and rush to get her car and get out of the it was like a, a gray jeep Cherokee and she hurry up and rush to get out of the vehicle to hurry up and run and then act like oh I'm coming to um pick up my daughter <clears throat> so now that's one of the actual parents that's you know perping while picking up her pa- picking up her child or whatever but the lady in the black Lexus and that man I, I knew they I knew they weren't um because when you go to um pick up the kids it's like they sit and wait at a, a specific designated spot but these bastards want to pretend to be visitors and never go on to the campus, never go inside the school, never do any of that. They just sit and freaking there to perp me. 
and they get in no trouble. <clears throat> they get in no trouble. So, um, and it's like, I hate when they perp me super heavy. When they see me standing outside, like talking to a boss, one of the bosses or the coworkers or whatever, what at whatever job I work at, you know, and it's like at Sky Zone, almost every, like when I was working at Sky Zone, almost all the damn coworkers and managers, almost everybody was a satanic perp. That place, I guess it wasn't fit for me. I mean, I guess it wasn't for me. <clears throat> you know, so so um it's so it's like getting like a little after four forty five at the moment and it's getting getting dark earlier. I'm I know this just started two days ago, but I really hate trying to get used to it, you know, and I'd be so happy <clears throat> when March comes and then it gets light outside later on. I do not like this um, getting dark before six o'clock at night and stuff like that. I really don't like that. Like I'm used to and miss it getting dark at like being spring or summer and getting dark at like seven or eight thirty, seven thirty or eight thirty or something like that. I like it like that. <clears throat> but I love warm weather in the south. I hate the west coast because of the way people are. But I hate the south. I hate because of so many pests like gnats flies whatever <clears throat> and um but i hate the north because i hate cold i hate the midwest because i hate cold you know so i can't believe some people call maryland the state of maryland they call that up north but that's not north enough it ain't high like New York or something. That's really north. <clears throat> so. But I like. The southeastern. Region. Of the U.S. Because. You know. I mean. I do not like. Places like. I don't like. Desert. Because it just looks so boring. I don't like the desert. I don't like desert. I don't like Arizona and Utah because I, I've been to Utah for a brief moment a couple of times when I went to did that um. That that Grand Canyon job for like a couple of weeks. But I liked Utah because it was kind of hot and warm. I liked the temperatures. But I didn't like you know desert. I hate desert. <clears throat> and I, I don't like Arizona desert, but I don't, I didn't like Los Angeles because fake people and everybody being dirty. <clears throat> but the further south, further southern California, that's the cleaner the beaches are. The farther north, that's the colder and the dirtier the beaches are. <clears throat> In January and February in Los Angeles, you were able to go to the beach, but then people were wearing jackets and hoodies in June and July and August. Backwards. Weird. I didn't like that. But I'm used to New Orleans weather, and Pensacola weather is not all that far off. You know, <clears throat> but... Oh... I mean, I love to travel and see different places and stuff. I wish I could have got to travel to different countries. I only got to go to Mexico and Costa Rica. That's it. <clears throat> and, oh, yeah, I've been briefly to Las Vegas. But 
Las Vegas, it's I would have been dead by now. It's like they're more aggressive than Los Angeles. Like people try to threaten to threaten you, threaten you to have you killed just for asking for directions in Las Vegas. You, I can't go. I can't go to Las Vegas. Shucks, I'm better at surviving in New York City than Las Vegas. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> I don't ever want to go on West Coast ever again. Ever. They, they start a certain kind of weird out there. But, um, I don't think I want to go to New York or Milwaukee or none, none of those places ever again either. And I said I never wanted to I never wanted a reason ever again in life to set foot in Texas. The whole state of Texas, I do not want to go back. <clears throat> and I don't want to go back to South Carolina or North Ca- I don't want to go to North Carolina nowhere. You know, so I'm content with where I'm at. <clears throat> but I would love to and need a vacation. You you know, but it's harder because of COVID. So, I feel like I need a vacation somewhere. But speaking of vacation, I found out this week that, I mean, I found out earlier today that tomorrow we have a half day of work and then we're off. Thursday for Veterans Day. To you real military folks out there, I'll say thank you for your service. But I do not put you on a pedestal and I do not idolize you. <clears throat> but the ones who, you know, try to fight for your fight your try your best to fight for this country, you know, I appreciate I, I appreciate it. But cuz they have some people who've been in the military and now they they're targeting targeted individuals who have military military experience <clears throat> but then i do not thank the so-called service of people who were former military and participating in a gang stalking or the fake disabled veterans i don't thank them for any service i do not thank anybody for any gang stalking service if you get what i'm saying but the real Military heroes, you know, I salute y'all. I'm going to say it two days in advance, you know. So, but they have a lot of disabled veteran perps, a lot of perps who were in the military. Some of them are high-level masons and high-level military, like high-ranking mason and high-ranking military. I do not respect you. So, that's that. So then, for Thanksgiving holidays, I didn't even think about that. And I'm wondering, well, wow, what am I going to do with having no work that week for the week of Thanksgiving? And I thought, well, I don't know if I can find, you know, a few temp jobs elsewhere. And then I'm trying to weigh the pros and cons, wondering, well, what if I go to mainland Pensacola and work a temp job, maybe washing dishes at a restaurant. And and then I'm wondering if it's $10 an hour and I work eight hours for Thanksgiving or something, but then I have to spend like 40 or $50 each way for Uber but then I guess I'll come home with maybe thirty dollars. So I mean I guess it's better than nothing and it would get me out of the out of my motel room as opposed as opposed to sitting out, sitting around all day. Or I can I mean I can use more of my, you know, my social security money and I mean, I can use the Social Security money and use that that to pay for my, um, a week, another, I mean, that week or whatever in a motel. That's if I still have my job. That is still, if I still have my job, you know, and, and a place to live. <clears throat> 
the motel or whatever. And that's if I still get to have it. <clears throat> and so, I mean, <clears throat> I wish I can go get my laptop. I'm not about to go and buy a ta another tablet. I'm not about to go. I don't even know if people still use tablets anymore. I don't hear people talking about tablets anymore. Um, I don't even hear people talking about tablets or iPads anymore. So, I mean, um, there are so many thing, different things I could do if I had my laptop with me. You know, I could focus more on writing more, um, you know, I can work on my big fiction book or a nonfiction ebook or, um, more short stories or work on my play, my little skits or plays or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I can do those things. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just worried about, um, you know, the fact of no work that week to be able to make sure I have enough money to stay off the streets because it's really bad. Like on holidays, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, no libraries open, no, no, I mean, I'm not going to say no restaurants, but it's hard to find a restaurant to be open and I don't want to be on the streets. I really do not want to be on the streets. Um, so I, I figured that maybe if I can, you know, find me some more work to do during that week. And then for Christmas holidays, it's supposed to be off for like two weeks. <clears throat> so, um... But who knows what's going to happen because the New World Order agendas are getting closer and stronger and the market of beasts is getting closer and stronger. <clears throat> and um, people are saying inflation is getting worse and, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to live day by day. So it's hard for me to try to be prepared for me to try to prepare. Um, that's why I was hoping to have a permanent place to live and slash or a vehicle. Um, it would have been easier for me to be a prepper. And, um, but it's like, if, if I were to have a permanent place to live, then it will, I, I probably wouldn't need to, I mean, the fact that I have like an indefinite place to live and I got, um, that's why I'm allowing myself to get paid daily for my work so that I would not have to panhandle or ask y'all for any money or whatever. And then it's like 300 a week plus tax for me to stay where I'm staying at. So that's why I figure it would be it's better for me to get paid every day and then trying to, you know, save up and then you know. But then, so I'm 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 kind of, you know, getting all a little nervous, like hoping that oh shucks, because I just found out today about that we're gonna be off. The day after tomorrow, we're going to be off. And then we work again on Friday. And, of course, we do not work on weekends. And, um, but at the other school, they might have some Saturday work. I don't know. <clears throat> um, for me to try to fill in. So, um. I'm battling, I mean, somebody on Twitter said a few hours ago also that the perps act like they think they own us or something, or treat, treat us like possessions, like, and so, I, I, you know, of course, I was able to relate, excuse me, to what that person was saying, 
you know, um, <clears throat> that the perp think they they think that they own us and they think they're our handlers and they're demonically influenced and possessed. So we got to just keep fighting. It's very hard because you get weary and tired. And the idea that we got to just keep fighting them off and everything, like, fight, keep fighting them off. So, <clears throat> I don't know if it's next week. No, it's not next week. It's the week after next. Uh, that's the, um, thanks. It's the week after next. That's the, um, Thanksgiving holidays. So, Next Friday, be off. But, you know, I can't, I mean, I can't afford a dog on vacation that I wish I could have, I wish I could have, you know. So I just got to keep just living it day to day. I mean, even, I wish I could just take like even a daycation. Like I was talking about that, like just needing a break and a vacation, like, I want to go see something different, like a different scenery, you know. Um, I have not left this spot, you know, this little area since um since I started working, but a couple of times go back to mainland Pensacola. So let me get back to work. <clears throat>